Hey everyone, I'm going to run you through a quick tutorial on how to do one of these uh, collaborative alliteration slides. So I'm on the same slideshow you're going to be accessing. If you go to uh, bit.ly slash etfocollab20, it will take you to a slide and I've got it set so that when I've shared it, it is uh, that anyone on the internet with a link can edit. So you have to allow that for it to become collaborative. Once again, uh, if you have students that you're not sure can handle a collaborative environment like that, you might want to have them make the slide on their own. So you would just share a copy of this with each student and then they would submit it and then you would put the slides together into a collaborative slideshow after. So during our session, I should have shown you how these were made, but we're gonna make one from the start. So to begin with, we go over to the left side here and on the pull down menu, I've adjusted the master slides so that there is use this one. And that's the one we click and it creates a brand new slide. What I suggest to my students is if we're using this collaboratively and everyone's opening up identical looking slides, it's a good idea to just put your name in immediately so that it identifies that I'm working on this slide. So we want to put a picture into this area here. And to do that, we're going to insert an image by camera. And when I click on that, we get me. So I take a quick snapshot and that can just fit inside the box like that. Now what you will get is some students don't want to, uh, don't want to work with that box. They want to either make their picture bigger so it stretches outside the box or they might want to use the crop tool so to adjust that if we go to the top here click on this picture this is the crop image tool and here I could make it into a circle or I believe I used a call out like this and if I use that then I'm gonna to have to make it much larger to show my big noggin uh, and I might want to retake the picture so that my head's near the top. Or we could try this other call-out shape, which is this one that shows a bit more. Anyway, I'll let you play around with the crop tool. Uh, you can just type in your name here and adjust the font and the colors. But uh, sometimes people like to just delete that entirely and insert word art. So here we're going to go with, let's go with Mighty Mark. And then again, we can change the font style. And then we could maybe even give it a gradient fill. So I'll do a gradient in, uh, I got a, this, this color here. And I can also put a trim around it. And this will allow me to thicken the border of the trim. Then by moving it around, I can find the center just like that. Okay. And here's where we're going to add our our information. So if uh, I were to go with happy husband or techie teacher, uh, I could add something from the noun project, which is there. So there's our noun project free icons for everything. Once I'm inside, I could search. So maybe I want to search teacher. Give it a second. And I can pick an icon that I like, perhaps uh, this one here. I copy that image. I go back to my slideshow and then control V to paste it in. I could have also used uh, insert, or sorry, um, edit paste as well to get it pasted in. And then I can resize that icon as I see fit. I Another option is to go to Jiffy. And in Jiffy, we could type in teacher. And I prefer to use the uh, stickers. So maybe let's take a look. 
Ah, this one's good. So you see this little link uh, chain here. Click that. You'll see that the link has been copied up top. I go back to my slideshow, but this time I can't paste it. I'm going to insert image by URL. And I can insert that image. Now, if you find <clears throat> that you're not interested in uh, having the square that's back here because it's in the way, there is the option of opening up a new slide and using one of the do not use. And if I do that, I can delete this and I've got a blank canvas. So I can start with a blank canvas and that way I'm not troubled by the square that's there. That's just sort of a uh, an anchor point for students to, to take advantage of. But that's a, a quick rundown of some of the options that are available when you're working on these slides. Oh, I will show that uh, you can highlight text, adjust the, uh, the font style, and you can color them as a group or even highlight a single letter, change that style, and change the color that way. So it gives you uh, some more options for you to play around with. All right, best of luck. Looking forward to seeing what we create together.